Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and then stay focused on the breath all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next breath and the next breath, you have to remember to stay here, because the mind can forget so quickly. We pay attention for a brief moment, and then our attention lapses, and then we have to start it up again. And it's so easy in that moment of lapse to go someplace else. So mindfulness is the thread that connects things. So you can remember the good things that you've learned in the past, so you can apply them right here, right now. Whatever you've done in your meditation before that's gotten good results, you want to have that at hand. You don't have to be starting all over fresh with nothing, inventing the Dharma wheel each time you sit, each time you breathe in, breathe out. Because we do learn lessons from our meditation over time, and you want to be able to remember them. This is especially important as, as we get older, as we face illness, and as we face death, because those things are going to come rushing in. And if we haven't established our mindfulness really well, it's going to get knocked over, and we're going to forget all the good things we learned. This is why the Buddha said that mindfulness is your protection. When he said to make yourself your own refuge, he went on to say, make the Dharma your refuge. And how do you make the Dharma your refuge? By developing mindfulness, right mindfulness, which is not just keeping things in mind, but also being alert to what's going on in the mind and realizing that you're shaping the present moment with your decisions, so you want to make shape them well. That's the quality of ardency. You really want to do this well. You have to remember that, otherwise you may feel that you're on the receiving end and there's nothing you can do and you're helpless. That's a bad state of mind to be in, because when you get helpless, you get desperate and you just grab at anything. But you've learned, however, from your meditation that some things are good to hold on to and other things are good to let go of. If you can keep that lesson in mind, that's how you protect yourself. So if you can't manage five minutes of mindfulness and alertness for when you're healthy, what are you going to do when you're sick? What do you want to go do as you get older? You've got to practice now while you can. Develop these qualities in mind, then you'll be happy that you have them in hand when the time comes when you really need them. So work on developing your mindfulness. Keep things in mind, the good things in mind. How to recognize skillful state of minds, how to recognize unskillful state of minds. How to remember how you got yourself out of the unskillful ones and developed the skillful ones. The Buddha gave his instructions. But if we forget them, it's as if they don't exist in the world. You look around you, you could look, look at the trees, look at everything, and say, where is, where is the traces of the Buddha? Well, the traces of the Buddha are in our minds, the lessons we've learned. I and mean, the truth that he pointed to, that's everywhere. But the useful truths that we're going to need in our practice, those we have to remember. So work on your mindfulness. Each time you breathe in, ask yourself, okay, I'm with my breath? Yes, okay. Breathe out. Each time you breathe in again, with my breath, yes. Keep reminding yourself to stay here. And that becomes the foundation for your protection. There's a time when King Vasenadi went to see the Buddha. And he'd been reflecting. He saw people raising armies. He himself had raised an army. He began to realize that people act in unskillful ways. They leave themselves unprotected, no matter how big an army they have. So you want to remember, what is skillful, what is unskillful? The Buddha taught those lessons, we've learned these lessons in our practice, but you have to be able to keep them in mind while you're healthy, while you're young, while you're strong, so that as health begins to wane, your strength begins to wane, you still have good strengths inside the mind. You still have this protection inside the mind. That can keep you safe no matter what happens to the body. Because it's what happens to the mind is what's really important. People can do all kinds of things to your body, but you're the one who's in charge of your mind. And this is how you protect it, this is how you maintain your safety, by learning good lessons and then remembering them, keeping them in mind all the time.